Welcome back, Summoners. I have compared Blitz to a lot of apps, but I don't think I have actually broken down what Blitz has to offer in a standalone video. So, if you want to know what Blitz has to offer without a direct comparison, stick around and do that whole YouTube thing. The channel is growing, and I want you to be a part of it. Buckle up, this one is going to be a long one, but I am covering everything that Blitz has to offer in this video. Blitz is an independent third-party app. It is not brought to you by Overwolf. Blitz has some good, Blitz has some bad, Blitz has some things that could be worse, and Blitz has some things that could be better. Back during my tier list video, I ranked it decently high, and I still stick by that ranking. Blitz is a solid app. Of course, I'm reviewing the free version with all the ads and plus features. Keep in mind, anytime you see my 10 of slime card, it is covering up an advertisement. I will address that at the end. Let's take a look at what Blitz has to offer in the user interface itself. On your profile page, it has your match history in the middle. You can click in and see the post-game setup. More on that during the post-game. On the left is your Season 12 Ranked Journey. You can, of course, filter by all different game mode and categories. Beneath that, there is your performance with each champion that you play. If you choose to click on the arrow, the more button, or the champion pool page, it will take you to this page, the champion pool. It is a more accurate breakdown of your LP. You can see your games played and win rate as well as your LP gains and losses by champion. I really do like this feature. It boosts my confidence when I see that I'm still hovering at around a 60% win rate with Vi, climbing like a boss, but seriously, that ranked grind can be frustrating sometimes. Let me know in the comments your worst ranked story. We all have one. Let's hear it. Winner gets a gold star and a Baja Blast from Taco Bell, courtesy of your own bank account. If you don't like this format, you can always click over to the table view and get more information that way. You can click into a lot of different categories and a lot of different time periods to slice up your data analytics. You can again filter by the max and the min of each category, going from top to bottom. Now credit where credit is due. I think having this data is excellent. I think it is great and absolutely helpful if you are willing to check it out. However, the data on this table is absolutely, positively, incredibly boring. Look at this. Is anyone actually going to go through this and read any of these stats? Hell no! There is not a chance I am ever going to check out how much damage to objectives per minute I did with all of these champions in my pool, or that I played once at one time during the season and then forgot about. A lot of this data is absolutely useless, and even if it wasn't, a table format like this is absolutely worthless anyway. We need a visual representation of this data if we are ever going to get anything from it at all. Take a leaf from Poor Professor's books and give me more graphs than I will ever know what to do with. It would be a lot more helpful than this. Moving right along to the statistics tab, here we have the champion tier list. All of the champions in the game ranked. I mean, within reason. Obviously, Skarner is not on this list because he doesn't count as a champion. It has the top 200 filtered by any role. Basically, Kiana has a better win rate in the jungle than Skarner. Anyway, you can filter by role, rank, game type, and the servers. You can tab over to the Synergies tab and do the exact same thing. You can filter by two roles for obvious reasons. These are duos that work great together. You can even search by champions, and once again, you can filter by rank, game type, and server. Tabbing over to Combat, I guess you can see the best for fighting. I imagine this list has some kind of algorithm for its ranking system based on the data on the screen now. Of course, no one is ever in their right mind going to read this, considering that as I tab over to objectives, nothing changes but the categories for the table. I'm still going to assume that this calculates it into an algorithm, and that these are averages from all around the world or server that you choose. When you click on a champion, it will take you to the champion statistic page for that specific champion. You can do a lot of cool things on this tab, and you can see so much information. You can see the highest win rate, the highest build rates, common builds, pro builds, as well as damage breakdowns, runes, and skill order. Beneath that, you can see who your selected champion wins lane against and loses lane against, as well as who wins the game and loses the game against you. There are trends for win rates, pick rates, and ban rates on the right-hand side. There's also a column dedicated to how to play against the selected champion, such as key insights, strengths, and weaknesses. If I were to have one complaint about this, there is no information on how to play the champion or anything to help you learn to play that champion. I think that it would be a worthy tab at the top 
instead of the same information literally just mentioned in a larger form. Moving on to the Pro Builds tab. It is pretty cool. You can see the builds and runes for specific pro gamers based on who most recently played. You can, of course, filter by role, region, and champions, but unlike the other tabs, you can filter by what pro team the pro gamer plays for. I'm a fan of this. There is a lot of cool information here if you are looking for specific matchup builds. This could be a good place to start. However, if a jungle is building magic resist against an AD matchup, it could be because a mage got fed, you will have to click into the full match details to be sure. Hey, do you remember a few minutes ago when I went over the statistics tab? Well, here it is again, this time with less detail but bigger icons. Here we have five tiers of champions not filtered by role or anything else just the win rates and possibly some other algorithms behind the scenes because Kane has a 51.2% win rate and Twitch has a 51.5% win rate despite Kane being tier 1 and Twitch being tier 2. You can of course filter by the normal categories. If we look at the overlays tab, you can turn on some overlays and turn off some overlays as well as see a little that is behind the paywall or is meant to be behind the paywall. Not sure really because I have that loading screen and you will see it in a minute. I could just mean removal of ads, sure. Either way, we have benchmarking CS, gold vision tracking overlays, jungle pathing overlays that I have turned off, jungle overlays, recommended skill orders, ultimate timers, trinket reminders, ARAM health timers. I will be getting into the gameplay of those in just a second. First, we have one more tab to cover. Summoners, welcome to the Blitz Arena, a challenge for all Blitz users. Brought to you by the most annoying spokesman in all of insurance. Wait, forgot about Flo. In all seriousness, Serrano from Major League is my favorite insurance guy. And I will debate this with anyone who wants to tell me different in the comments below. I can even count this as my sus comment of the week. I don't care. He has got great hands and I am not afraid to say it. Sorry, back to the Blitz Arena. Do you want some free money for playing League? The Gecko is gonna hook you up with this challenge. Three days starting August 26th, 15 games. The more points you score, the more chances you have to win. Top 300 gamers get some RP. I am not going to go through all the details of this, but I think that this five grand giveaway and rewards for playing the game and using Blitz is an absolutely A1 decision. Not only by Geico, but also by Blitz. I hope Blitz keeps this up. I am more than willing to promote such an event. Let me know in the comments if you are going to enter. When it comes to the pregame, there are some excellent real-time pick suggestions that I go in-depth into in another video. Once you lock in, you can see your team's comp as well as their rank, win rates, as well as the amount that they play. In addition, you can see who is on a team, indicating the colored dots, who's duo queuing. You can scroll down to see a lot of information from the champion page, and this is where you can import your runes and spells. Beneath all that is another tier list. Let's talk about how the overlays that I mentioned earlier perform. I mentioned that I have some of them turned off, keep that in mind. I personally love the jungle overlay timers, and I think the direct ultimate timers is a nice feature as well. It isn't overly critical for me, and I don't see myself checking them often, even before I gank. But I do think it is a nice touch, even if it doesn't specifically bring much to the table for me. CS tracker on the top right, obviously phenomenal, let's move on. The post-game breakdown looks like this. As you can see, I was clearly the supreme Big Daddy carry in this game, and all fell before me like the younglings falling before Darth Vader in the council chamber. You're dark, Raj. I don't care. Starting from the top, there are medals to award you for what you did well and an LP counter if you are playing ranked. There are three bar graphs that compare you to all of the ranks in terms of income, vision, and combat. As you can probably guess, your vision score will be trashed. Your farming is CS per minute, which is pretty cool. This stat is something that I pretty much live and breathe with. Low-key, it is absolutely something that I notice when it comes to winning and losing. A lot of that comes back to my CS per minute. On the left, there is a jungle pathing situation going on if you're willing to pay for Blitz Pro. What I do find kind of funny is that what I can see is under the assumption that I did the clear that it recommended, there is a benchmarking tab that basically compares your overall stats to what I can assume is your MMR rank. Under that, there are income and vision breakdowns as well as a match timeline. 
trying to put a bow on this video quickly. I feel like it's a long one. Of course it is. Standard post-game breakdowns for both teams. There is an advanced stat page that is way too cluttered to be any type of useful, and there is a gold graph tab that I absolutely love. You can see exactly where the game got out of hand. So that is basically all the free version of Blitz has to offer. I think Blitz has a lot of good qualities. I think there is plenty of information for you. However, I think Blitz lacks in a few places. As long as I have been using Blitz, it has always had a reputation for not working as well and being a little unreliable. When Blitz is working, I think it's pretty solid and you can't go wrong using this app. It is great for beginners and has a lot of good information to work with. As far as the drawbacks of using the app, the ads are irritating. There were times when I was making this video and I couldn't get an ad out of the way to see what I wanted to talk about behind it. It was frustrating to put it mildly. I understand that Blitz needs to make some money and Blitz Pro probably isn't bringing in the revenue that is required, hence the ads. I am understanding of that, but alienating your customers in an effort to make money is unwise. Just ask Amazon. You couldn't pay me to watch that. I hope every critic from Critical Drinker to Will of the Fans makes more money reviewing it than Amazon does for producing it. Not my niche, back to Blitz. Blitz has so many ads that it's frustrating to people, I get comments about it all the time. Despite that, Blitz is a great app for beginners and Blitz has improved a lot since I first downloaded it. I still keep it high on my tier list, I can only hope that eventually Blitz sheds the reputation of being unreliable. But I'm not going to hold my breath, Overwolf still holds a reputation for data mining. So here we are. This video is way too long and I will see you on the next one. Hold up, did you really think I forgot about the scouting report? This is what you get. It is really more of a breakdown of the champions than the players themselves, although I do have the one trick pony on Vi, what's up? You can really see the damage breakdown and the lane win rates and what's expected to go on during the game. Of course, if you are in the ELO I am, expect your teammates to throw and you will never be disappointed. Alright, I'm out.